welcome back to ECW. And I didn't think it was humanly possible to get any more cocky than Jack Swagger is. But after defeating Tommy Dreamer last week, Swagger has a whole new swagger. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the All-American American Jack Swagger. Highly volatile, extremely capable, yet a good look at the smiling face of one of the fastest rising stars in the WWE, the All-American American Jack Swagger. And Jack has got the attention of the entire WWE Universe, singling out the OG of Extreme, Tommy Dreamer. Is it possible to be too confident, overconfident, if you're Jack Swagger? No, not if you're used to winning. Not if you're used to things going your way. That's what Swagger's used to. Incredible acumen, a great amateur background, and now he's got some words. So last week, Tommy Dreamer was bragging. <laughs> bragging about how he's been in this business for 19 years. He was bragging up until I beat him in our match. Jeez, jeez. But it's true, Tommy has been in ECW since day one. And while that may sound impressive, what actually has Tommy done in all that time? Let's see. Tommy first made his mark when some drunk named Sandman was beating him with a cane. Tommy kept saying over and over again, thank you, sir, may I have another? I don't get it, but I guess he was trying to prove how tough he was, how hardcore he was. Of course, Tommy was receiving the beating because he lost a match to the Sandman. I guess some things never change, do they, Tommy? <laughs> but Tommy didn't lose all of his matches. He actually won one and became ECW champion. You guys remember this, right? It's the old ECW championship. Old just like your hero, Tommy Dreamer. Of course, though, his title reign didn't last long. <laughs> didn't last long at all, about 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. We've been on the air longer than that tonight. But let's talk about a chapter of Tommy's life that was both significant in the ring and out of the ring. This is Beulah McGillicuddy. Tommy's in-ring girlfriend turned out of ring wife. Tommy and Beulah have been married for six years and have two beautiful, beautiful twin daughters. In fact, they're probably at home right now watching. So Beulah, how does it feel to know that your husband is past his prime? And past his prime implies in fact that he actually had a prime. Your husband is a failure. Which means you married a failure. Which means your kids will probably grow up to be failures. <laughs> but don't worry, there's still hope. You can find a role model, someone like the all-American, American Jack Swagger. I'll let you look up to me. 
Because if I don't, you'll probably end up working at some fast food restaurant, dating the manager. How much can one man take? Here comes Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer, the flag bearer of ECW, going straight at Jack Swagger. Enough is enough, says Tommy. Look at that. A fight with Dreamer is like Guns N' Roses Chinese democracy. You eagerly anticipate it, but once you have it, Jack, you might not want it. Tommy asking Jack to get back in the ring, pleading with him to come in. Listen to the chants echoing here. They're saying ECW for Tommy Dreamer. Well, extreme words call for extreme actions in Tommy Dreamer's world, and that's what we just saw. Well, friends, can we give you any more? Yes! Tonight, the winner becomes the number one contender for the richest prize in ECW. Finley versus Mark Henry with the winner to face ECW champion Matt Hardy next week. It's tonight.